and I need to go a bit more laterally. So I deepen the slot again with my diamond drill. See, if I'm going too much vertically like this, only if I deepen the slot, I can go more like this. So I'm deepening the slot over here in this area. Okay. So the drill was deepened. And now you see the position of the twist drill. Can you make out? Yeah, you can make out earlier the drill was somewhere here, like this. Like this. Now it has come correct. Okay, now I realize that my marking of point B itself could be more laterally. So I have taken the point B too much easily. So I shift my point B again and create altogether a new channel. So that channel is aborted. That channel is aborted. And I create a channel which is more lateral to it. Okay. You can appreciate the new point, you can appreciate the old point. See the old point is here. See this. This is the old point. New point is next to it. So on the zygomatic bone, if I have to tell you, my old point was somewhere here. Here. But my new point is here. And just doing a bit more so you people understand. So that when I do like this, now I am going laterally. Earlier I was going like this. Now I am going like this. new point okay and i will show you in the next video this is the 4.0 37.5 zygomatic implant I appreciate we are going now laterally. See this. Can you make out now? And if I get some view where I can show the old tunnel and the new one. But when I showed this thing to Dr. Nitin, my friend, he said that the earlier position was for the second zygoma. So if I would have done called zygoma, then that would have been okay. But anyways, we don't want to get into all those things. So right now, for practical purposes, we remain in the center of zygoma. And this is how it will be. Okay? So this zygoma... You